This is the Miami Dolphins Football Network. back there, and Hubert is second year man from Florida A&M, and they are both flyers. We are ready to go in this initial AFC Conference playoff game of 1971. Center waits for the whistle. He's got it, comes forward, gets the tone of the ball, he gets it high, and he gets it deep, way back up against the wall. There'll be no run back out of the end zone, and so the Dolphins will start from their 20-yard line. We'll be moving from our right to our left. Center Road really got the toe into it. There, the breeze this afternoon is high and comes from the southwest. The Chiefs will have what there is of it to their back for this first quarter. The lineups are as we gave them to you. We'll set the Chiefs uh, defense for you in just a moment. Bob Breach the quarterback, but fully off to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Dolphins in the eyes. Zonka and Kick the setbacks and behind Bob Breach. The handoff goes to Kick, puts his head down, rams the middle, gets the yard. Tackle by Curly Culp, the left side defensive tackle. A gain of a yard for Jim Kick, second down and nine. The Chiefs on defense, front four. Upshaw, Culp, Buchanan, and Brown. The linebackers left to right, Bell, Lanier, and Lynch. The quarterbacks, Marcellus and Thomas. The safeties, Robinson and Kearney. Greasy trying to get the running game established. Second down and nine. As Kick went straight ahead that time, out of the huddle they come. They split off fully a couple of yards off Marv Fleming's right. Warfield is in tight. Second down and nine. Dolphins from our 21-yard line. Moving from our right to our left for period number one. Greasy long count at the line of scrimmage. Hands off to Zonka. Pulls his way across the 25. Gets out to the 26-yard line. Goes Larry Zonka. Colpin Buchanan on the tackle. It'll be a third down and four. Dolphins ball at our 26-yard line. Dolphins back of the huddle. Dolphins with Warfield and Fully at the wide receivers. Kick and Zonka are the split backs. And this time, Fully puts far to the right side. And Warfield sets as a uh, slot man to the right. On third down and four, Dolphins from our 26 and a half yard line. Greasy up under center, barks the signals on the snap. Went back out to his right, sets the throw, looks up field, he fires, it is incomplete to Quilly across the 50 yard line. Up the far sideline, Quilly had to come back on the pattern, so it'll be a fourth down and a punting situation. Going back will be at Pugelak, number 14. Dolphins fail to achieve a first down in their first offensive series. Here's the snap disciple. Gets a pretty good rush. He gets it high. A nice kick out of there. Budlack calling for a fair catch and makes it for the Chiefs at about their 42-yard line. 32 yards on the punt for Larry Seifel. He got it high, gave the coverage a chance to get down, and Budlack signaled for the fair catch. All right, for the Chiefs offensively, Dawson will be the quarterback. Otis Taylor, 89, a wide receiver. Ed Budlack, 14, and Wendell Hayes, 38, the running back. Elmore Wright, number 17, the other wide receiver. Morris Stroud, who's 6'10", 265, is the tight end. He wears number 88. They line up in a triple-I formation. First down, Kansas City from their 42. Now they break out of it and split off uh, right to the far side. Taylor to the near side. Here's Dawson dropping back down on first down. Swings a screen out to Pudlak. 40, 45, and he is cracked. He is really met head-on by Paul County and Bob Matheson. For the Dolphins at the 48-yard line. He picked up six yards on the play. Interior line for Kansas City. Jim Tyre and Dave Hill are the tackles. Ed Buddy and Mo Mormon are the guards. Jack Rudney, the center. Defensively for the Dolphins on the front four. Jim Riley, Manny Fernandez, Bob Hines, and Bill Stanfield. The linebackers left to right. Doug Swift, Nick Bonacani, and Bob Matheson. The cornerbacks are Tim Foley on the left. Curtis Johnson on the right. The safeties are Jake Scott and Dick Anderson. Second down, and we'll call it six. For the Chiefs, the ball at their 48-yard line. They move from our left to our right. They split off right to the far side. And in the slot to the left is Otis Taylor in the eye. Hayes and Podolak behind Dawson. Here's a handoff. Hayes, big hole in the middle. 50, 45. Down to the 40. Down to the Dolphin. 36 yard line. Goes Wendell Hayes on the trap. Jake Scott brought him down. First down on the play for Kansas City. 17 yards. We have 11.35 left to go in the first quarter. They set with the stack back. Here's the handoff, going to Podolak over the right side. He's inside the 35 to about the 33-yard line. A gain of about three. It'll be second and seven for the Chiefs at the Dolphins, 33. And we have 10.59 to go in this first quarter on this Christmas day. Here's Dawson faking the handoff on play action. Drops back to throw. Raffles in the middle. Drop. Intended for Morris Stroud. Check it. Uh, intended for uh, Otis Taylor. And he couldn't hold out of the ball at the 22-yard line. Oh, that uh, makes it a second third down coming up at seven. He had Taylor in the middle, and he just couldn't hold on to it. Third down and seven. 
cheap ball at the Dolphins' 33-yard line. They break out of the huddle and split off right to the far side. He's the rookie from Houston. And set Otis Taylor as a slot man left. Here's Dawson sprinting back to his left. Sets the throw, fires, and is caught by Kodlak, 25, down to the 23-yard line. On a flat-out pattern, Ed Kodlak, the receiver, knocked down by safety Dick Anderson. That is good for a first down, down to the Dolphins, 22. Dawson will throw so many offensive patterns at you. He sets his back, the triple eye now, they split off again. As Taylor splits to the uh, near side and right to the far side. Here's the play action coming up again. Dawson drops deep to throw. He throws into the end zone. It is incomplete. Intended down there for Otis Taylor. But uh, he was nowhere near the ball. Covering on the play was Jake Scott. And Dawson threw the ball up against the uh, East End grandstand. It'll be a second and ten at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Dawson with his ball club back in the huddle now. And this weather has really fared off. Just a beautiful day here in Kansas City. Second down, 10 for the Chiefs at the Dolphins, 22. They snap out and split off Taylor wide to the near side and set right as a slot man to the near side of the field. Hayes and Pudlak, the split back in behind Len Dawson. Dawson hands off to uh, Hayes for a hole on the right side inside the 20. Down to about the 17-yard line. Middle linebacker Nick Bonacotti in on the stop for Miami at the uh, Dolphins, 17. It'll be a third down coming up at five. A pickup of five yards on the play. Taylor puts off the near side on third and five, right to the far side, but off in the Dolphins 17-yard line. Right out in front of the goalpost, Dawson drops straight back to throw, sets up, he fires, it is dropped at the 15-yard line on a curl pattern intended for Podolak over there. He's hit immediately by Nick Bonacotti. So with fourth down, here comes Root on the field in the field goal unit. He will have no angle whatsoever as the ball is directly out in front of the goalpost, and this will be about a 24-yard attempt. Yon on the season is 26 out of 44 in the field goal department, wound up with 110 points. Johnson will hold for this 24-yard field goal attempt. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is, set down. The kick is up, and it's good. Up uh, against the screen down here at the east end of the field, so the Chiefs take the lead with 8 minutes and 54 seconds. Left to go in this first quarter. There is a timeout on the field with a score. The Chiefs 3 and our Dolphins nothing. Rick Weaver with Fred Woodson and Henry Barrow back at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. That drive, 58 yards, eight plays, culminated in a 24-yard field goal by Jan Center Centerud, and the Chiefs have the lead three to nothing. Morris and Ginn back deep to receive Centerud's kickoff. Here's the whistle, and Jan comes forward. He gets it high and blasts it deep again to the far corner and out of bounds. And out of the end zone it goes the end zone it goes, so there'll be no run back, and again, the Dolphins do not get a chance to use one of their prime offensive weapons, the speed of Mercury Morris and Hubert Ginn back there, and will put the ball in play at our 20-yard line, 80 yards away. Put off fully to the far side, Warfield sets a couple of yards to the near side. The split backs are kicking Dante in behind Greasy. Dolphins first down from our 20-yard line. Greasy up under center, on the snap, hands to Zonka, the sweep to the right side. He does not get the corner turn, he for the loss by Bobby Bell over there on the far sideline, back at the 19. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he have lost a yard, and a half yard is really going to put it down. We'll call it second down and 11 coming up for the Dolphins, back at our 19-yard line. Eight minutes, 29 seconds left to go in this first period. The Dolphins trail 3 to nothing on a 24-yard center route field goal. We've got to get our offense on track here. Second down, 11 from our 19 and a half yard line. Warfield splits to the near side, fully a couple of yards off to the far side. Greasy drops back to throw in second down. Fires down the near side. Warfield, great catch at the 40, out of bounds. Up the Dolphins, 43 yard line. Run out. Down here by Emma Thomas. As Greasy led him perfectly, caught the ball at the 40 yard line and runs out at the Dolphins, 43. 23 yards on the pass completion from Greasy to Paul Warfield. And that's the combination that the Chiefs have been looking to stop. First down for the Dolphins at our 43-yard line. Eight minutes, nine seconds left to play in period number one. Chiefs lead 3 nothing. Warfield touches the wide receiver off to the far side. Truly a slot man right. Kick and Zonka, the split backs, and behind Greasy. Dolphins first down from our 43-yard line. Here's the handoff. Zonka through the right side, dragging tacklers with him across the 45 and gets out to about the 46-yard line. Marvin Upshaw, the left side defensive end, four-year veteran from Trinity. And a gain of about three. Second down, seven. Dolphins ball at our 46-yard line. 7.45. Left to play in the first period. Fully out of the huddle. Splits off to the far side. Mar Fleming sets the tight side end right. Warfield is put to the near side. Kick and Zonka. The split backs. And behind Greasy. From our 46. 
Here's Greasy. Play action. Takes the handoff. Sprints out to his left. Being pursued. Sets up. Throws deep downfield. Overthrown intended for Warfield. Down at about the 25-yard line. A third down and seven. Dolphins ball at our 46-yard line. Greasy unofficially now is one for three. All right, Fully splits off the far side. Warfield to the near side. Third down, seven. Dolphins from our 46-yard line. Greasy looks over the defense. Sparks the signal. Somebody jumps. Dolphins jump. Flags go down. Greasy drops back to throw and whistle sound. Now let's see whether it's going to be encroachment, offsides, or what. Jumping for the uh, Chiefs was Marvin Upshaw, the defensive left end, and Marv Fleming uh, followed him for the uh, Dolphins. It appears from here it's going to be against Miami. A five-yard penalty. Sets the ball back to our 41-yard line. The illegal procedure is the call. It's third down and 12 now. Dolphins ball at our 41-yard line. Fully puts off the far side. Warfield to the near side. They set kick as a flat man to the near side. And Blanca in behind Greasy on third down and 12 from our 41-yard line. Greasy dropping straight back to throw. Gets a pretty good rush. Rips one in the middle and it's picked off. By Lanier at the 50, 45, down to the 40, and down to the Dolphins 35. Tackled by Larry Little. Willie Lanier, the middle linebacker, picks it off. At about the midfield swipe, or perhaps down a couple of yards beyond that, returns 15 yards before Larry Little dropped him at the Dolphins 35. There is a timeout on the field with 7-13 left to go in the first quarter to score. The Chiefs three and our Dolphins nothing. Ready to go. The Chiefs first down following Lanier's interception and return at the Dolphins 35. Wright and Taylor are split off to the far side of the field. Hayes and Podlack in the eye. Hand off to uh, Hayes. Set it up. Plus through the middle. The 30 down to the 27. The 26 yard line. Goes Wendell Hayes. With great blocking up in front from that Kansas City for line, Doug Swift makes the tackle on the play. I think there seem to be quite a few arm tackles in there. Dolphins seem just to be missing. I think they're going to start hitting if they want to get back to the game. Nine-yard pickup, second down and one. Chiefs at our 26. Podolak, or rather Hayes, has carried three times for 31 yards. Greasy on the season was intercepted only nine times, and that pass pattern, trying to get it to the tight end, was picked off by Lanier. Right splits off to the far side. Taylor sets to the flat man left. Second down and one. Chiefs at the Dolphins 26-yard line. Moving from our left to our right. Hand off to Hayes. Right through the middle. He's got the first down inside the 20. Down to about the 18-yard line. Bob Matheson makes the tackle on the play. And a first down for the Chiefs at the Dolphins 18-yard line. Buddy, Rutney, Tyler, and Mormon are doing a great job in blowing out up front. Ball is at the 19 in Dolphin territory. First down for the Chiefs. As right splits to the far side. Taylor slot man left. They set in the I formation. Dawson. Ben hands off to Pudlak. He pounds the right side and gets maybe a yard, maybe two, to the 18, possibly the 17. Nick Bolicani, defensive captain, middle linebacker for the Dolphins, makes the tackle on the play, and it'll be a second down and eight. Taylor splits to the near side, right to the far side. Here's the handoff to Hayes on the draw. He bounces his way through the middle and is stacked up inside the 15 at the 14-yard line by defensive end Bill Stanfield for the Dolphins at the 14-yard line. Gain of about three on the play. It'll be third down, and we'll call it about five. At the Dolphins 14. Four minutes, 39 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Santa Rita's kicked a 24-yard field goal. Chiefs lead three to nothing, trying to get another one. Elmo Wright puts to the far side. Otis Taylor to the near side. Third and five at the Dolphins 14-yard line. Here is Dawson being pursued. Fires it is almost intercepted. A slant in at the three-yard line and tennis for Stroud. And Taylor was also down there. I guess he was the primary receiver. Three Dolphins converge. Nick Bonacani put a tremendous rush on the quarterback and there's a flag on the play and the Dolphins are going to be penalized. Bonacani raising Kane with the referee, John McDonough. They really collapsed on the receiver Taylor that time and the ball was batted away, deflected in the air behind Jake Scott and he just couldn't get to it as it came down out of the air but there was a flag on the play. Bonacani put on a good rush that time on Dawson. The officials marching off the penalty will put the ball at the Dolphins nine yard line. And let's see if this is going to be enough for a first down. It'll be third down, less than a yard for a Kansas City first down at the Dolphins' nine-yard line. 4.22 left to go in period number one. Kansas City leads three to nothing. And that penalty right now uh, kind of hurts. Here's Wright splitting off to the far side. And Otis Taylor is a slot man to the left. Hayes and Podolak to split back in behind Dawson. Third down, less than a yard at the Dolphins' nine. Hand off to Hayes, through the middle. He's got the first down to the seventh. It'll be a first and goal for the Chiefs at the Dolphins' seven-yard line. 
First and goal. 340 left to go in this first quarter. They line up with that stacked eye behind Dawson. Dawson drops straight back to throw. Looking for his receivers. Hits Kodlak. Screen five. Four, three, two, one. Touchdown. Kate. And Kodlak just took the swing pass down the near sideline and stepped over a few people. Had good blocking in front. And went in for the score. Seven yards on the touchdown. Kodlak. Is now caught three for 23, and Dawson will hold as center road will try the point for place. Score now 9-0 in favor of Kansas City. Dawson will hold, waiting for the snap from center. Here it is, set down, the kick is up, and it's good. There is a timeout on the field with 3.29 left to go in period number one. The score, the Chiefs 10 at our golf and stuff. Rick Weaver with Fred Woodson, Henry Barrow, back at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City, 329. Left to play in the first period, the Chiefs have jumped out on top 10 to nothing, and the Dolphins have got to get the offense rolling. Ginn and Morris back to receive center route kickoff. Dawson, incidentally, three out of seven with one touchdown. All three of those completions to Kodlak. Here's the kick, and Morris bounces it into the end zone, lets it bounce by him. A high, twisting kick out of the end zone for the touchback, and... For well, the third time in his first period, the Dolphins have not been able to run the football back. And we'll start at our 20-yard line. All right, Tully out of the huddle, splits to the far side. Dolphins still moving from our right to our left. Warfield is the wide receiver to the near side in the eye. Kick and Zonka behind by Breesey. Waiting for the snap as kick comes in motion. Fleming again jumps off sides. The handoff goes to Zonka. Through the left side, gets out to the 24-yard line. Kick had started in motion off to the near side. And Fleming appeared to jump off side before the ball was snapped. All right, the penalty, illegal motion, that's uh, three uh, penalties against the Dolphins here in this first quarter. Set the ball back to our 15-yard line from where it'll be a first down and 15. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go. In this first quarter, the Chiefs leading 10 to nothing. They, as Freddie has remarked, overshipped on that defense. That may be what is causing the problem. Greasy hands the kick, plant off of the counter on the right side, gets out to the 20, maybe just a little bit across the 20-yard line. Jim Kearney and Willie uh, Lanier make the tackle on the play. Ball is just out across the Dolphins' 20-yard line. It'll be a second down and 10. Two minutes, 57 seconds, and what has been a long first period for the Dolphins. Trailing 10 to nothing. Willie splits to the far side, Warfield on the near side. Second down and 10 from our 20-yard line. Greasy looks over the defense. Snaps the signals, hands off the kick, the sweep to the right side, gets the corner turn, 25, up to the 30-yard line, that's going to be close, and from here it looks like he's got the first down across the 30, Willie Lanier really rammed it. Kick had good blocking behind his two guards, Kuchenberg and Little that time. That is the second first down in this first period, and in the ball game, for the Dolphins. Two minutes, 14 seconds left to play in the first period. Willie puts to the near side, Warfield, flat man left. Kick and Zonka, the split back behind Greasy. First down, Dolphins from our 30. Hand off to Zonka, rams his way across the left tackle and gets out to the 34-yard line. Eight of four. Tackle by Marvin Upshaw and Willie Lanier. 127 to go in this first quarter. Second down, six. Dolphins from our 34-yard line. Warfield left. Fully off to the far side. Here is kick in motion to the right. Hand off to Zonka. Pounds his way across the right side and gets up across the 39. Gain of five. And it'll be third down and a long yard to go for a first down. Kearney and Lanier get on the stop for Kansas City. Third down, a long yard for the Dolphins from our 39. 55 seconds to go in the first period. Chiefs leading by a score of 10 to nothing. Dolphins come out of the huddle. As Mandich is in, along with Fleming, they have the short yardage power blocking unit up there. Reese from our 39-yard line. Marks the signal. Somebody on Kansas City jumps. Here's a handoff to kick. He's across the 40 and appears from here to have the first down, but there's a flag down on the play. Curly Culp, the defensive left tackle for Kansas City, jumped too soon, and he apparently did not get back in time. We're up uh, at our 44-yard line with a first down on the penalty. We have not been in Kansas City territory in this first period. 36 seconds left to go in period number one. Mandich is out, and Swilly is back in again now. As Swilly splits off to the far side, Warfield comes to the near side. Dolphins with a first down at our 44-yard line. Greasy on the snap. Drops straight back to throw. Buchanan on him. Here's the pass. Warfield fakes the catch at the 35. Puts around a defensive man. 30 down to the 25. Gets a block. Takes off another tackler. And he's down to the 20-yard line. What a tremendous effort by Paul Warfield. 
Willie Lanier and Jim Lake brought him down, and they put it down at the key 21. Buchanan really put the pressure on Greasy in a great effort by Bob to get that ball off. Warfield made a tremendous catch and shook off tacklers. Got a good block down at the 25 and gets down to the 21-yard line. 36 yards on the pass completion from Greasy to Warfield, and there's the gun. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from Kansas City, Missouri, with a score. The Chiefs 10 and our Dolphins nothing. Moving from our left to our right to the east end zone, where all the scoring in the first quarter took place for Kansas City. First down, Dolphins at the Chiefs 21-yard line. Fully switched to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Kick and duck the split backs in behind Greasy. As we start the second period of play, the Chiefs out in front 10 and nothing. Greasy, long count at the line of scrimmage. Hands off to Zunker. Sweep to the left side. Cuts back. And he's going to be ridden to the turf over there by Aaron Brown, the right side defensive end. At about the 20-yard line after a gain of only a yard. Dolphins have not been able to run with a great deal of proficiency against this Kansas City rushing defense. Second down and nine. Warfield puts to the far side, fully to the near side. Greasy drops back to throw on second down. Has time. Now has to spread out. Coming to the near side. Fires and is caught by Meyer Fleming at the six, the five, and the four-yard line. Goes Meyer Fleming. The big tight end for the Dolphins. The Dolphins pick up a first down. Down at the Chiefs' four-yard line. 16 yards. As Greasy was forced out of the pocket. Spread it to the near side of the field. All the while looking and spotted Fleming at the uh, about the seven. And he was dragged down inside the five at the four. The Dolphins knocking on the door now as Jim Mandage comes in. Fleming, uh, or Howard Twilley is out. The Dolphins have the short yardage uh, blocking unit up there with uh, Fleming and Mandage both up front. First and goal at the Chiefs' four-yard line. Warfield sets as a wingman to the near side. Greasy up under center, barks the signals from the four. Here's the handoff, the kick. Inside he goes over the left side, gets down to about the two-yard line. And we'll call it about uh, three for the uh, Dolphins at the Chiefs' three. Man set up the Howell defense defense. Warfield puts a couple of yards off to the left side. Greasy up under center, marks those signals on second down and three. Fakes the handoff, goes to throw, fires into the corner, and a flag goes down. Interference is going to be called. The pass was intended for Marvin Fleming. Jim Kearney, the strong safety, was the defender involved. And the penalty will be against the Chiefs. All right, the Dolphins off the pass interference against the Chiefs have a first and goal at the Chiefs' one-yard line. Chiefs lead 10 to nothing. Dolphins trying to get into this end zone. That short yardage power blocking unit still in there. Greasy sets his ball club. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. Hand off to Zonka. He's in for the touchdown. Larry Zonka pulls his way through the middle. On the season, Zonka scored a total of seven times. And the Dolphins are on the board with 12.39 left to go in this first half. As Zonka pulls his way in from the one-yard line. Now a 10-6 ball game. And Gary Yepremian. The NFL's leading scorer, who kicked 33 out of 33 in the extra point department during the regular season, will try the points from placement. And Carl Newman will do the holding, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down, the kick is up, and it is perfect. With 12-39 left to go in his first half. The score, the Chiefs 10 and our Dolphins 6. Seven. Rick Weaver, Fred Woodson, and Henry Barrow back at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. The Dolphins have gotten on the board. It's a 10 to 7 ball game. 80 yard drive, 10 plays, off a one yard plunge. Warren McVay, number six, off to the far side, and total like 14 on the near side. Here is your premium kick. He toes it high and deep out of the end zone, and the Chiefs will not get a run back. They'll bring it out and put it in play at their 20 yard line. In the first quarter, officially, the Dolphins had 91 yards total offense to the Chiefs 71. It was the Chiefs completely dominated as far as ball control and scoring. Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak, the uh, running back. Morris Stroud, the big tight end, is the tight end. Here's the handoff to Wendell Hayes. The slant over the right side gets to the 24-yard line. Doug Swift, strong side linebacker for the Dolphins, making the tackle on the play. And here is Wright, puts to the near side, and Otis Taylor sets as a swap man to the left. Second down and six. Chiefs ball at their 24-yard line. Dawson. Spins, hands off to Hayes, pounds right guard, and he gets maybe two yards, and that's all. As Byrne, uh, check it, Frank Cornish Frank makes the tackle of the play. And Nick Bonacotti also went on the stop, just across the 25, we'll call it the 25-yard line, give him a gain of only a yard. It'll be third down and five. We have 11.25 to go in this first half. They'll break out of the huddle, as right as the wide receiver to the left side. Here's Dawson, hands off to Podolak on the trap over the right side. He gets out across the 30, and it's knocked down at the 21 to 32-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Bob Matheson on the trap play. 
Pudlak carried over the right side and picks up a Kansas City first down. That's uh, their 32 yard line. Right split left hitter to the far side. Dawson drops the throw. Makes left, throws right. Screen to Pudlak. 35, takes off the tackle at the 40. 45, he might go the distance. 45 and a 40 down and off the territory, dragged down from behind. Pudlak had good, excellent blocking out in front, and Curtis Johnson saved the touchdown for the Dolphins. They put it down at the Dolphins' 39 yard line. 32 yards. On the screen pass completion from Dawson to Podolak. Most of it on the run by Podolak behind. Excellent blocking. Podolak has uh, caught four this afternoon for 55 yards. So now they're within striking position. Dawson now four out of eight. All to Podolak. First down, Chiefs at the Dolphins, 39. As they, uh, the Chiefs are now moving from our right to our left. Here's the end around with right carrying uh, Jackett. Big hand, he throws deep to Taylor. It is intercepted by the Dolphins on the nine-yard line. By Curtis Johnson. A beautiful bit of making by Dawson. He makes the end around to right coming around. And all the other he exploded with the pass. The deep pattern to Taylor and Curtis Johnson. Back with Taylor playing the uh, ball beautifully. Call it in. And we get a timeout as the ball is at the uh, Dolphins' 10-yard line. Beautiful bit of faking. He faked everybody that time except the Dolphins' deep secondary. And Curtis Johnson was right on top of it to pick it off instead of for Taylor. Now we've got the momentum going. Let's see if we can do something with it from our 10-yard line. We trail 10-7. to Warfield splits off to the far side. Greasy with kick and Zonka in the eye behind him. Bob Long count at the line of scrimmage. Hands off the kick. Starts outside. Gets the corner turn. And out across the line of scrimmage to a 14-yard line. Before he is almost decapitated by defensive right hand Aaron Brown. 8.50 left to go in his first half. Chief lead by a score of 10-7. Dolphins second down and six from our 14-yard line. Fully splits off the near side. Warfield on the far side. Kick and drunk at the split back. Behind Bob Greasy. Greasy, long count again at the line of scrimmage. Hands off, Brock on the draw, through the left side he goes, across the 15, gets out to about the 17-yard line. With the ball. Third down at two, Dolphins ball at our 18-yard line. All right, third down, two yards to go for Dolphins, first down at our 18-yard line. Kick and drunk the split back. Behind Greasy. Dolphins from our 18. Greasy up under center, marks the signal, hands off to Zonka, through the right side, and he is dragging tacklers, and they are pushing him back, he did not make the first down, he gets to the 19-yard line, and the Dolphins are a yard shy of a first down, so the punting unit comes on. Seven minutes, 23 seconds left to play, and his first half, Dipo will stand back at about the three-yard line, the line of scrimmage is the Dolphins 19, Podolak is the deep man back, and Homan is the shallow man, waiting for the snap. Here it is, Stipo gets the toe into it and drills a low trajectory end over end kick. Holman grabs the ball on a fair catch back to the 39-yard line. 42 yards on the punt by Larry Stipo. The Chiefs have the ball at their 39. They snap out of the huddle and they set in that uh, triple eye formation. Dawson now splits proud to strong side left and right moves out as a wide receiver left. Taylor to the far side. Hayes and Podolak to set back to the eye behind Dawson. Here's the handoff. Going to Podolak. Hits the hole. Cuts outside. 45. 50, 45 to the 40. He is wrestled out of bounds with the Dolphins. 29 yard line. Podolak. Tackled by Dick Anderson. Saved the possible touchdown there. He fakes to the hole on the uh, tackle on the strong side and then cut outside to the near side. Got the corner turn. 32 yards on the run by Podolak. And the Chiefs are right back again in excellent field position at the Dolphins 29 yard line. 6.15 to go before the end of the half. Chiefs lead by a score of 10 to 7. They let stack up that triple eye offensive formation again. Here's the handoff to Hayes. Through the middle he goes. Down to the 25-yard line. Wendell Hayes, the ball carrier. Pick up a four. Frank Cornish throws his 285 pounds in there. For the Dolphins. Makes the tackle on the play. And they put the ball down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. Second down and six. Dawson snaps the ball club out of the huddle. They set once again. And that stacked eye formation. Here's the pitch to Podolak. Sweep to the right. Cuts outside. The line is from each inside. The 25 flag down as he is really cracked at about the 22, maybe the 23 yard line. Bill Stanfield, defensive end, makes the tackle. Morris Stroud, the big tight end, threw the block on the play. There's a flag, however, down on the far side of the field. Flipping. Here's the call. Trying to get Podolak outside. Somebody leaned into a defender from the rear end. And the 15 yard infraction. Sets the ball back to the Dolphins 37-yard line. Penalty stops the clock with five minutes and 21 seconds left to go in this uh, first half. Second down and 18 for the Chiefs. The ball to the Dolphins uh, 37. That clipping call was against Jack Rudney. 
the uh, Kansas City center. Out of the stacked eye, Dawson, here's the end around now with Wright carrying to the far side. He gets across the, the 30-yard line down to about the 26. Elmo Wright, Wright coming from the near side on the uh, flanker around. At the corner turn, tackled by Jake Scott. They put the ball down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. The ball at the Dolphins, 27, third down and seven for the Chiefs. They line up with a stacked eye once again. Dawson, hands off. Here comes Wright again to the far side on the flanker back around, and he is cracked and really scissored over there. Short of what they needed for the first down at about the 22-yard line. Center route comes in as they are short of the first down by about three yards. This will be a 30-yard attempt, the far inbounds hash mark with Dawson holding. They're waiting for the snap now in center route field goal attempt. Snap set down, the kick is up. He's got the distance. It is no good. Off to the right side. Center road, who has not been the most accurate kicker on the season, with 26 out of 45, was picked on the Pro Bowl team as the AFC's place kicker ahead of uh, Garo Yapremian, and Garo was really upset about that, although they are good friends off the field. And so, the missed field goal attempt from 30 yards by center root gives the Dolphins the ball at our 20-yard line, and we have 3 minutes and 45 seconds with which to move the ball in for a score before the end of the half. Warfield as far as cut two passes for 59 yards. Zonka has carried the ball nine times for 23 yards, kicked five times for 21 yards. And as far as the uh, Chiefs are concerned, total act uh, four carries for 55 yards. Or check it. Uh, he's receiving four times for 55 yards. In the rushing department, he has carried four times for 44 yards. And Hayes has rushed nine times for 53 yards. 10 to 7, Chiefs lead, Dolphins racing the clock now, 80 yards away with 345 left to play in the half. Warfield splits off the far side, and Thomas lines up on him. Twilly splits to the near side, kicking Zonka the split back behind Bob Greasy. Bob on first down, drops the throw, fires a quick one. Warfield drops the ball at the 32-yard line. On the slant pattern, he was wide open, had the ball in his hands, went right through his bit, and that's something you don't see. Warfield dropped the ball. It'll be a second down and 10. Dolphins at our 20-yard line. Warfield puts to the left, pulling to the near side. Here's Greasy dropping back to throw. Flings the screen to kick. Good block by uh, Larry Little. He gets up across the 25 to about the 28-yard line. Willie Lanier rocked him off his feet. Little threw a fine block to turn him loose for a couple of extra yards. And it'll be a third down coming up. Dolphins ball with two yards to go at our 28-yard line. Clock moving with three minutes and 19 seconds. Left to play in this first half. The Chiefs lead by a score of 10-7. to Center Root has kicked a 24-yard field goal. Missed a 30-yarder. Photo act a seven-yard touchdown pass from Dawson. And the Chiefs uh, gave up a touchdown to the Dolphins after an 80-yard drive. Zonka ramming it over from one yard out. Warfield puts to the far side, fully to the near side. Third and two from our 28-yard line. Greasy drops the throw. He fires for Warfield. He's got it. 35. Run out of bounds over there. Dolphins pick up the first down at our 38-yard line. Emma Thomas ran him out. Dolphins with a first down at our 38-yard line. Warfield puts a couple of yards to the left. They set in the eye. Kick and Zonka behind Greasy. Greasy barks the signal. Pitches the kick. Sweeps to the right. Gets the corner turn across the 40 out to the 42-yard line. Comes Jim Kick. Jim Marcellus, the left cornerback, makes the tackle on the play, along with middle linebacker Willie Lanier. Second down and six, Dolphins from our 42-yard line. Warfield sets as a wingman. Off tight end, Mar Fleming to the left side. Ball at the Dolphins, 42-yard line. Greasy, on the count, hands off at a trap play. Zonka through the middle, and he gets out across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Jim Lynch. Weak side linebacker makes the tackle on the play. Former Notre Damer, five-year veteran. And that's going to be uh, the two-minute warning. There's a timeout on the field with two minutes left to go in the half. The score, the Chiefs 10 and our Dolphins 7. Rick Weaver with Fred Woodson and Henry Barrow back at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. After Kansas City capitalized on a Dolphin mistake, a pass interception by Bob Greasy in the first quarter and led 10 0 at the end of the first uh, period. The Dolphins have come back roaring. You got seven points on the scoreboard. Have a third down and two situation now at our 47 yard line. Let's do what Greasy and Shula discussed during the uh, timeout. Warfield puts to the far side. So to the near side, kicking Zonka on a third down and two situation from our 47 yard line. We've got to get to the 49 in order to keep this one uh, moving. Greasy, long count at the line of scrimmage. And on the quarterback draw, he is really eaten up. 
lost yardage. He started to set the throw and then had a notion, I believe, of running with the ball. And Buck Buchanan nailed him back at the 44-yard line. Well, that changes the strategy uh, appreciably here with a fourth down now. And five yards to go for a first down. Stifle, who has been known on occasion to run with the football out of punt formation, is back to kick at the 29. Dolphins trail 10 to 7. Holman, the short man, and total act the deep man to receive the punt. Here is the snap. He's going to kick it. Gets a pretty good rush. He gets off. Hey, beauty. A long, high spiral. Podolak grabs the ball back at the six. He is nailed at the eight-yard line. Ed Podolak tried to run it out of there. Back at the six-yard line as Seifel really put the toe into it. 52 yards, and Jim Langer was down to stick his head. And Mr. Podolak's bread basket, a two-yard return. They hold a three-point lead, 10 to 7. The Dolphins would have at least liked to get gotten down there and do field goal position, but... Perhaps we can get the football back before the end of the half. At least that great punt by Seifel has the Chiefs back deep in their own territory at the eight-yard line. Fox moving with a minute and 23 seconds to go in half number one. They try to go deep to Taylor once, and that was picked off by Curtis Johnson. Here's the uh, right foot to the near side, and Taylor is a slot man to the left. Here's the pitch going to Podolak. Tries to turn the right side end. Flag is down. He's run out of bounds at about the uh, line of scrimmage. Flag down in the Dolphins' backfield. Defensive uh, secondary, Doug Swift is the man who ran him out of bounds. A holding penalty is the call against Kansas City. Let's see if the Dolphins are going to uh, take the penalty or the down. With a minute and seven seconds left to go in this first half. And the Dolphins, apparently, uh, they are. They're going to take the penalty. And that sets the ball back at the Kansas City four-yard line. Holding is the call against Kansas City. Takes the ball back to the fourth. It'll be uh, a first down and 15. For the Chiefs, the ball back at their four-yard line. Here's right splitting left and uh, Taylor Slapman left. Hayes and Podolak in the eye. The setback's behind Dawson. Chiefs from their four-yard line. Here's a handoff. Podolak through the middle and he fumbles the ball. Dolphins have got it at the 13-yard line. He was stripped that time. Frank Cornish fell on it as he belted the middle. He was cracked by Dick Anderson. Dick Anderson is the man who recovered the fumble, and Frank Cornish is the man who put the pressure on him and stripped the ball from him. Anderson recovered the fumble, and the Dolphins have the ball at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. And we got a timeout on the field call by the Dolphins to discuss the strategy. All right, let's see if we can get a touchdown here. First down at the Chiefs' 13, and Twilly is back in there. Ian Warfield, the wide receivers, Kick and Zonka, the uh, running back. Mara Fleming, the tight end. Greasy, the quarterback. A minute and one second to play before the end of the half. The Chiefs lead by a score of 10 to 7. Dick Anderson just recovered an Ed Podolak fumble. Here's Greasy dropping the throw. Set fires for Warfield. He's got it at the six-yard line, the seven-yard line on the far side, and is knocked down immediately by Emma Thomas. 30 seconds left to go. The clock is moving. Fully puts off the near side. Warfield on the far side, 25 seconds. Here's Greasy looking to throw. He's firing, and it is overthrown intended for Twilly. He was pumped all over the place down here by Jim Marcellus. 20 seconds as the incompletion stops the clock with a third down and four situation for a first down. Seven yards to go for a score. 20 seconds before the end of the half. Third down and four yards to go for a first down. Seven yards to go for a score. Chiefs lead 10 to 7. Twilly splits to the near side. Warfield on the far side. Greasy up under center. Waits for the snap, drops back to throw. He fires, it is knocked away. Instead of for Twilly at the goal line, Marcellus with a great play. And there's a Chiefs shaken up down at the four-yard line. So Gary Yopremian comes on with a field goal unit. A timeout is called by the officials to uh, stop the clock because of injuries. Kansas City will be charged with this timeout. 16 seconds left to go, and the Dolphins, failing to get in for six, will go for the field goal now. Johnny Robinson, the nine-year veteran free safety, is the man who's shaken up on the play. It'll be fourth and four. And the ball is at the seven. This will be about uh, a 14-yard attempt by Gerald from the far side inbound hash mark. We'll try to tie it up before the end of the half. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. Set down. Your premium kick is up. And it is good. So the score is tied 10 to 10 with 13 seconds. Left to a play in this uh, first half as Garrow comes through with his first field goal in playoff activity. The NFL's leading scorer, and the Dolphins will prepare to kick it off. 
Warren McVeigh, number six off to the far side, and uh, Ed Podolak, number 14 to the near side. Here's the squibber from uh, Yepremian, bounces in front of one of the linemen, picked up by Podolak to 12, the 15 to the 20, cuts outside to the far side, 25 to the 30, he is dragged down from behind across the 35, the 36 yard line, and that run back used up seven seconds. Matheson and then uh, Cornish are in the lineup on defense for the Dolphins. Elbow right splits to the near side. Taylor off to the far side. Six seconds before the end of the half. Chiefs from there, 36. Swing pass. Wendell Hayes up the far side line. Gets to the 40 and is dragged down at the 43-yard line. And there is the end of the first half. Nick Bonacani makes the tackle on that last play. That's the end of the first half. The score are Dolphins 10 and the Chiefs 10. Your premium will kick off. McVeigh, number six, deep to the right side. Total like 14 deep to the near side. The score at halftime, 10 to 10. Here's the whistle. Your and forward gets the kick high and deep. There will be a run back. Total like at the one yard line. 5, 10. Out across the 15 to the 20. He is hit and smacked down at the 25. On a 24 yard return that time by Podolak. We saw this young man in college as a quarterback, and he has developed into one of the game's best runners. The tackle by Mike Cullen on that kickoff return. Vern Denhutter also in on it. The Chiefs will have a Dawson, a quarterback, Taylor, and right to right receivers. Podolak and Hayes are running back. Morris Stroud at 6'10", 265, the tight end. Tackles are Tyra and Hill. The guards, Buddy and the Mormon, and the center is Jack Redney. First down for the Chiefs at their 25-yard line. They're moving from our right to our left toward the west end of the field in this third quarter. Short side, 10 to 10. We've just begun playing in the third quarter. They snap out of that uh, triple deep uh, eye. Taylor wide to the right, right to the near side. Swing pass to Hayes at the 20. He is caught from behind and dragged out at the 24-yard line. A loss of a yard on the play by defensive end Bill Stanfield for the Dolphins. They lost a yard. It'll be a second down and 11. They try to get the screen set up, and it did not develop. Defensively for the Dolphins, Riley and Stanfield the ends. Fernandez, along with Frank Cornish at the tackle, Swift, Bonacani, and... Uh, Cullen and the linebackers, Foley and Johnson, the cornerbacks, Scott and Anderson, the safeties. Second down, 11. Chiefs fall at their 24. They line up in the triple I. Now Stroud moves to his tight end spot, strong side right, and Taylor moves out as a wide receiver to the right side. Dawson on the snap, takes the handoff, goes back to throw, good rush. He fires, it is incomplete. Intended for Stroud at the 44, and Manny Fernandez put on a great rush on Dawson that time and really flattened him out back at the 15-yard line. Dick Anderson defense on the play for the Dolphins. Third down, 11. Chiefs ball at their 24-yard line. We've just started the third quarter. Score tied, 10 to 10. They will set in tight now on that triple I. Now they split off with Taylor moving wide to the right and Elmo Wright wide to the near side. Dawson, third down, play action. Fake goes back to throw, fires in the middle. It is caught by Elmo right at the 40-yard line, and he is knocked down immediately. That is good for a first down. They'll mark it at about the 39 in Kansas City territory. Curtis Johnson really stuck him, but not before he caught the ball. Elmo Wright, the rookie from Houston, for the first down. First down for the Chiefs. Dawson and Ole Masters that third down situation at their 39-yard line. 13 minutes, 12 seconds left to go in this third quarter. They set the triple line. Now Frazier moves to his tight end spot. Strong side right to Otis Taylor. Splits right, Elmo Wright to the near side. Wendell Hayes at Podolak. Behind Dawson, hand off to Hayes through a hole to the right side, and he gets out of cross. A 45 to the 46-yard line. Doug Swift makes the tackle on the play, a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. Right splits left, and Taylor is a flat man to the left side. Second three. Fake handoff. Dawson to throw. Fires the out man. It is caught by Taylor at the 50-yard line, and he is grabbed by one leg by Mike Colin. Curtis Johnson bags into him, and they put it down at the 47-yard line. That's good for another first down into Dolphin territory. The 48. It's where they're going to mark it. Mike Colin, along with Curtis Johnson, on the tackle. Henry, that's the 10th first down for the Chiefs. Dawson has now completed 8 of 13 passes. That's the first pass that Taylor's caught this afternoon. They tried to get it deep to him a while ago, and Johnson intercepted it. First down at the Dolphins' 48-yard line. 11.38 to go in this third quarter. Score tied, 10 to 10. They set that uh, triple I. Offense again. Now they split off. Frazier goes to the tight end. Taylor splits right, right to the near side. Here's Dawson. Quick out. It is caught by Taylor, and he's knocked down immediately at about the 45-yard line. Dolphin territory. Tackled by Tim Foley. Second down, seven. Chiefs fall at the Dolphins, 45. Ten minutes, 57 seconds left to play. In this third quarter, Elmo Wright splits to the near side. Taylor, slot man left. Second down, seven at the Dolphins, 45-yard line. Here's Dawson. Fakes the handoff. Goes back to throw. He fires in the middle. It is caught by Taylor. He uh, laterals off the total at the 30. 
takes the tackler down to the 25, 20, 15, to the 10, dragging people with him down to the five-yard line. There is a flag on the play, however, back at the 26. There's a flag back to the 26-yard line. Taylor caught the ball, and he was, as he was hit, he lateral off the total act. It's going to be called back, and I smell a clip coming up. Kodalak got down to about the six-yard line, or about the six-yard line before he was dragged down, but it's going to be called back. A penalty against Kansas City, which really brought the crowd to their feet. There it is, personal foul, clipping on the cheek, sets the ball back to the Dolphins' 41-yard line, and you can hear the partisan Kansas City crowd reaction on that play. A dandy bit of razzle-dazzle. That would have had them really knocking on the door, but the officials right on top of the play call the penalty, and instead of excellent field position down at about the six or seven yard line, it'll be a second down coming up. Back of the Dolphins' 41 yard line. And about three yards to go for the first down. All right, the Chiefs out of the huddle. They split elbow right to the near side and set Otis Taylor. As a slot man, Dawson's starting to uh, find Taylor now, open against the Dolphins' zone defense. Here's the handoff. Wendell Hayes over the right side. He's got the first down, down to the 35-yard line. Wendell Hayes behind Mo Borman. The right guard gets the first down. The tackle on the play made by middle linebacker defensive captain Nick Policani, the 10-year veteran for Notre Dame. The uh, Chiefs have a first down at the Dolphins' 35-yard line. Short side, 10 to 10. Elbow right foot. To the near side, Otis Taylor sets the slot man left. Here's the handoff, Wendell Hayes in the middle, gets to about the 32. Wendell Hayes and no farther than that. Three yards on the pickup, following uh, Jack Rudney. Mike Cullen, Mike Cullen makes the tackle on the play from the linebacker spot to Miami. It'll be a second down and seven. The ball at the Dolphins, 32 yard line. Here's right, splitting to the near side. Taylor, a slot man left, Podolak and Hayes in the eye behind Dawson. Here, hand off to Podolak, on the draw, up the middle, weaving, bobbing, and bucking his way down to the 21-yard line. Goes at Podolak for another Chiefs first down. Podolak gets the first down. Mike Cullen knocks his knees from beneath him down up the Dolphins' 21-yard line. And they are really moving now. Podolak for 11 yards. Eight minutes, 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. The score tied 10 to 10. Dawson. Back talking to his ball club. That is 12 first downs unofficially in the ball game for Kansas City. Dawson breaks his ball club out. He sends Taylor and Wright as double wide receivers off to the right side. They line up in the eye with Hayes and Podolak. The back's behind Dawson. The blitz is on, and Bonacani is across the line of Stramichi. is bumped by an offensive lineman. Ed Buddy, the left guard, cracked him as uh, Nick jumped too soon. And flags go down. And the penalty will be against the Dolphins. The Chiefs will pick up five yards here. First and five, Chiefs at the Dolphins 16-yard line. Elbow right. It's put to the near side. Taylor slot man left. Dawson, hands off. Podolak through the middle, drags a couple of people with him and gets inside the 15 down about the 12, maybe the 13-yard line before his progress is halted. Manny Fernandez threw his 250 pounds in there. They put the ball down at about the... Uh, at about the 13-yard line, 7 minutes, 49 seconds left to play in this third quarter. They took the opening kickoff and have used about uh, seven and a half minutes in this drive. Here is right splitting left, Taylor's flat man left in the eye. Dawson from the line of scrimmage, hands off to Hayes. He has really stacked up at about the 12-yard line. He got only about a yard. Frank Cornish really wrapped him. Nick Bonacani making the tackle. And Nick Bonacani also went on the stop. They put it down at the 13 and say he didn't get anything. So it'll be third down and still two yards to go for a Chiefs first down. They've got two tight ends in now. Morris Stroud has come in to replace Otis Taylor. And uh, Willie Frazier remains in. Third down and two at the Dolphins 13. Hayes and Podolak in the eye behind Dawson. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is, the handoff. Check it, Dawson. Uh, and now it. Jim Otis, who had just come into the ball game, has knocked out of bounds down at the one-yard line. Again, a beautiful bit of deception by Dawson. Otis had just come in, replacing Hayes, and taking the head off was Dawson. Moving off right tackle, however, with a football, and everybody in the ballpark was full with Jim Otis. And he is knocked down and out of bounds on the far side of the field by Curtis Johnson at the two-yard line is where they're going to put it. That, of course, is a first down. They are moving away 
from us now. Toward the west end of the field. 6 10 left to go. In this third quarter, 10 10 score. First and goal. Ball at the one and a half yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Otis cracks the right side. And the officials have not signified a touchdown. He did not make it as they on pile. They put the ball down at about the one foot line. Five minutes and 35 seconds to go. In this third quarter, they have utilized about nine and a half minutes on the clock in this drive. All right. Kodalak and Otis are in the eye behind Dawson. Waiting for the snap. Here is the handoff to Otis. He's in for the touchdown. Jim Otis from one foot out gets the score, and the Chiefs take the lead back, 16 to 10. They have never been behind, and uh, they used up about nine minutes and 45 seconds of this third quarter in that drive. Dawson will hold, and Centerud will try the point for placement. Waiting for the snap now. Here's the snap. Centerud gets the kick up, and it's good. With 5-16 left to go in the third quarter, there's a timeout on the field with a score. The Chiefs 17 and our Dolphins 10. About nine minutes and 44 seconds in that drive. 75 yards, 14 plays. Otis, one foot run for the TD. 5-16 to go in this third quarter. Chiefs to take the lead back 17 to 10. Centerud kicks off to Morris and Ginn. He slams it down the left side. Mercury at the one-yard line. Runs it out 5, 10, 15 to the 20. His hit breaks off. Kicks across the 25. And is slammed to the ground at the 28-yard line. Mercury Morris, the AFC's leading kickoff returner, dropped by Dennis Holman on the Chiefs specialty squad. So the Dolphins will start from our 28-yard line with 5 minutes and 6 seconds left to go as Mr. Dawson really utilized the clock. Mixing his plays beautifully. Kansas City defense is bound to be fired up for that drive and that score. Let's see what the Dolphins can do against it. Twilly, we've got to get the momentum back there. Twilly switched to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Kick and Zonka in behind Greasy from the Dolphins' 28-yard line. Greasy on the snap. Makes the handoff. Goes back to throw. He fires for Twilly. Got it to 45. Runs into a tackler. Still going across the 50 and knocked down at the Chiefs' 48-yard line. And the Dolphins come rolling right back as Jim Marcellus, the left quarterback, makes the tackle on the play. Howard Twilly is the receiver as the Dolphins pick up a first down in the Chiefs' territory at the 48-yard line on that 23-yard pass completion from Greasy to Howard Twilly. Four minutes, 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dolphins first down at the Chiefs' 48-yard line. Chiefs lead by a score of 17 to 10. Dolphins send Twilly wide to the left, and Warfield sets to the slot man left. First down at the Chiefs' 48-yard line. Greasy looks over the defense. Here's the handoff going to Zonka. Sweeps to the left side, turns the corner, still going. Drags the tackler with him down on the far side of the 41-yard line. Larry Zonka hit and dropped by Willie Lanier. Second down and four. Dolphins at the Chiefs' 42-yard line. Moving from our left to our right. 325. Left to go in the third quarter. Chiefs lead 17 to 10. Warfield split to the far side, Twilly to the near side, Greasy back to throw, throws the square out to Twilly, got it, 38, and he's run out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Marcellus grabbed him around the head and wrestled him out, first down for the Dolphins at the uh, Chiefs 36-yard line as Greasy again goes to Twilly, first down at the Chiefs 36-yard line. Woody? Well, uh, Rick, I think we'll uh, see Bob Greasy going a lot more to Howard Twilly. He's great against the bump and run, and uh, some people say uh, he has uh, the best hands in football. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go in this third quarter. We need a touchdown now to give us back our momentum. And to get this ball game even up, going into the final quarter, Warfield puts left, fully to the near side. First down at the Chiefs 36-yard line. Greasy, up on his center, barks the signals, waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff, the kick, pounds up the middle, and he is down to about the 30-yard line. Jim Kick, rambling for six yards. The Dolphins have their ground game going now. Second down and four, Dolphins ball at the Chiefs 30-yard line. Two minutes, 45 seconds to play in period number three. The Chiefs lead 17 to 10. Dolphins out of the huddle. Twilly splits off the near side. Warfield is wide off to the far side of the field. Kick and Zonka, the split back behind Bob Greasy from the Chiefs 30-yard line. On a second down and four, Greasy drops the throw. Fires the middle. Warfield, 15, down to the 10, down to the 7-yard line. It's Paul Warfield on that max pattern, the slant over the middle, the post pattern. And Greasy drilled it in there, a perfect pass and a perfect catch. Lanier and Thomas really sandwiched Paul after he caught the ball. But he picks up a first and goal down at the Chiefs' 7-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this third quarter. 19 yards on that pass completion from Greasy to Warfield. First and goal, Dolphins down at the Chiefs' 7-yard line. Warfield has caught five for 93. 
Chiefs lead 17 to 10. We've got the two tight ends in now, Mandich and uh, Fleming, on the short yardage power blocking situation. First and goal from the seven yard line. Greasy rolls out to his left, fires a pass for kick. He's got it out of bounds at the one yard line in the far coffin corner. Jim kick on a slant to the corner to the flag. And Greasy hit him, wafted the ball over the defender. Let's see where they're going to put it down. Down at the one yard line. Second down and goal for the Dolphins at the one yard line. And that short yardage power blocking situation again. Greasy up under center, box those signals. Hand off the kick. He vaults into the end zone. There's a big pile up there right at the goal line. We have no signification from the officials that he got into the end zone. We shouldn't have said the end zone, but uh, it appeared from here as if he got in. But they put it down at the one, about the one-inch line. That ball is just outside the goal line. Third down and just inches to go for a touchdown. He did not make it. We need this one desperately with a minute and ten to go in the third quarter. Greasy sets his ball club, waiting for the snap from center. Here's a handoff, and in for the touchdown. In for the touchdown. Jim kick over the left side as he vaulted into the end zone, and it's now a 17 to 16 score. And his kick was not to be denied that time. Kick scores. On the season, he had scored three touchdowns. Greasy 10 for 16 in the forward passing department. And Yepremian is now in to try the point for placement. The Dolphins came right down and took the momentum back with a minute showing on the clock left to play in the third quarter. Noted will hold. An important extra point coming up here for a little man from Cyprus. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is, set down. Yepremian throws it up there. It's right through the upright. And it's a tie ball game. There's a timeout on the field with one minute to go in the third quarter. The score are Dolphins 17, the Chiefs 17. Rick Weaver back at Kansas City. McVay and Podolak back to receive the kickoff. Yepremian gets his toe into it, drills it high. There may be a run back here. Podolak grabs the ball, drops it, and will fall on it and down it. No run back. Touch back in the end zone. 52 seconds left to play. In this third quarter, the score is tied 17 to 17. And Bob Greasy really brought the Dolphins down and sliced up that Kansas City defense in a short period of time. 72-yard drive and eight plays with kick going over from the uh, one at the one-foot line. Yepremian adding the extra point. 14 minutes of this third quarter have been taken up by the two uh, touchdown drives. The first one by the Chiefs, which used up about 9.45 approximately, and then the Dolphins came right back in considerably less time. Chiefs have the ball at their 20-yard line with a first down. 52 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Frazier is the tight end. Taylor splits to the right. Elmo right to the near side. On the snap, Dawson hands to Wendell Hayes. Over the right side he goes, and it's back down at the 22-yard line. Be a second down and eight. 39 seconds. 37 seconds. Left to go in this third quarter. Second down and eight. Dolphins have never led in this ball game, but a battle back on a couple of occasions to tie it up. Score is tied 17 to 17. Here's Wright putting off the near side. Taylor Slapman left. Hayes and Podolak in the eye. The setback's behind Dawson. Second and eight from their 22-yard line. Dawson hands off on the draw. Podolak cuts to the left side. Taylor throws a good block. 25. He is out of bounds across the 30 at the 31. First down, Chief. Running about Curtis Johnson. Podolak picks up a first down at the Chiefs 31. Three seconds as the clock is stopped. 14 first downs unofficially for the Chiefs. 11 for the Dolphins. This will be the last play of the third period. They split uh, Taylor and Wright off to the far side of the field. Dawson fakes the handoff. Goes back to throw. Sets up the screen. Podolak's got it. And missed the tackle. 30, 35, 40. And he rims his way up to the 45-yard line. Podolak on that screen picks up 14 yards and a first down. As the gun sounds, ending the third quarter of play, Dolphin football action will continue from Kansas City with the score our Dolphin 17 and the Chiefs 17. Play calling that he's had this afternoon to contain. Hayes and Podolak in behind Dawson. First down, Chiefs from there, 45. Hand off to Hayes. Plants to the left side. And his track fumble on the play. And the Dolphins have got the ball at the Chiefs 47-yard line. Nick Bonacani, the Dolphins' defensive captain, Made the recovery on the play. The Dolphins have the football at the Chiefs 47-yard line. Pulley switch to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Kick and Zonka in behind Bob Greasy. Dolphins moving toward the west end zone. To our left, the handoff goes to Zonka. Puts his head down and rams his way over left tackle. Inside the 45, down to about the 44-yard line. Buck Buchanan and Curly Culp. Make the stop on the play. The ball at the Chiefs 44-yard line. Second down and seven. 
Dolphins ball. 24. 14 minutes, 5 seconds left to play in the ballgame. Short side, 17-17. Fully split to the far side. Warfield on the near side. Here's Greasy, dropping back to throw. Fires out. Caught by Marv Fleming. He's out of bounds on the far side of the field at the Chiefs 41-yard line. They picked up only three yards on a pass completion. Bobby Bell, the left side linebacker, makes the stop. Greasy, 11 out of 17 in the forward passing department unofficially. Third down and four. At the Chiefs 41-yard line. 13 minutes, 55 seconds left to go in this ball game. Tied up 17-17. Fully puts to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Kick and Zonka in behind Greasy. From the Chiefs 41-yard line. They must get to the 37. Somebody on the Chiefs jumps. Greasy back to throw. Flags go down. Here's the pass. Kick has got it. Takes off a tackler. 40. Down to the 35. Still going. Down to the 31-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Back at the 42, Jim Marcellus, the right quarterback, makes the tackle. That is good for a first down. The penalty will be against Kansas City. Offside, declined by Bob Greasy and the Dolphins. They'll take the yardage, the gain, the first down. Down at the Chiefs 31-yard line. All right, with 13 minutes and 45 seconds left to go. And this is the time to start popping your knuckles. Warfield puts to the near side, fully off to the far side. Here's the handoff. Kick. Puts his head down. Rams his way inside. Gets down to about the 28-yard line. Bouncing off red jerseys. Curly Colts and Willie Lanier on the stop. Curly puts to the far side. Warfield put a couple of yards off the left side. In the eye. Kick and Zonka. Greasy goes back to throw. Sets up. He fires. It is knocked down. Great play by Emma Thomas for Warfield. Was the intended receiver at the 15-yard line. Moving off the left side, cut across the middle. And Marcellus, or uh, Thomas rather, had a hand on it and deflected it away from Warfield. Third down and eight. Dolphins at the Chiefs 29. Greasy drops back to throw. He sets. Now he's going to run with the ball. Now he's going to throw. Now he's going to run again. Down to the 25, down to the 20. He is hit and dropped at the 16-yard line. He's got the first down. Bob Greasy out of a scramble situation. Had to keep aware of where the line of scrimmage was, and Jim Lynch, the right side linebacker, brought him down. Bob Greasy scrambling for near line, picks up the first down. Down at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Mandich goes out, Meyer Fleming comes back in his tight end. He had great pressure, broke away from a couple of tacklers, and had to keep aware of where the line of scrimmage was, and then decided he had a better opportunity to run with the ball than to pass it. 12 yards for Greasy. The ball down at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Bob eating up the clock with 12-17 to go. Still plenty of time. First down, down at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Warfield puts to the left, kick as a slot man left, and Fully sets as a wide receiver to the right side. Zonka is set back in behind Greasy. Hand off to Zonk. He pounds the middle and digs for the 15, and that's all. Before he is stacked up right there. Second down and eight for first down at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. 11 minutes, 33 seconds left to go. In this ball game, short tied 17-17. Warfield puts left, Fully to the far side. Kick and block at the split back and behind Greasy. From the 15-yard line. Somebody jumps for Kansas City. Greasy back to throw. No flag down. Greasy fires. It is intercepted. At the 9-yard line by linebacker Jim Lynch. Apparently, the Kansas City man got back in time because there was no flag thrown. And Kansas City takes over on the interception. The pass was intended for Jim Kick. There is a timeout on the field with 11.16 to go. The score, our Dolphins 17, the Chiefs 17. All right, on the second interception on Bob Greasy, the Chiefs have the ball at their nine-yard line. And let's see if their momentum uh, turns this thing around. Right around the Dolphins' defense now. First and ten from their nine. Here's the handoff going to Wendell Hayes. Flash on the left side. The cut across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Tackle on the play by middle linebacker Nick Monaconic. Second down and four. Ten minutes. And 49 seconds left to go. 17-17 is the score. If this game ends in a tie, we'll go into sudden death overtime. The first team scoring wins. Taylor to the near side. Dawson up under center. Second and four from their 16. Here's the handoff to Hayes again. Big hole to the left side. Out across the 20. He's got the first down to the 24-yard line. Tackle by Bill Stanfield. Ball out at the Chiefs 24-yard line. First down. Clock moving with exactly 10 minutes left to play. Short side, 17-17. Dolphins have to get this ball back. Here is Dawson. Takes the handoff. Goes to throw. He fires out to Willie Frazier. The tight end, 25-30. Up across the 35. Is cracked by Mike Colin at the 37-yard line. And stood up straight right there. And everybody starts pushing. Mike Colin 
That's another first down. Willie Frazier, the tight end. Nick Bonacani also on a tackle. Oh, the Dolphins defense really has the pressure on him now. Frazier, his first pass reception, 13 yards and a first down. They put it down at the Chiefs 38 yard line. Frank Cornish comes in. Dolphins broke through just at the last moment on the pass rush there, but Dawson wants the ball out. With that great experience and ability of his for the near sideline. And Frazier caught it. Dawson 12 out of 17. Out of play Cornish in, hides out on the front four for the Dolphins. Nine minutes, 8.59 to go. First down, Chiefs at their 38. Dawson sets his ball club. Right and Taylor spread to the far side. Here's the pitch. Going to Hayes, the sweep to the left. He is caught and is dropped at the 39-yard line. Good defense by the Dolphins over there. After a gain of only a yard, they have to get the ball out to their 48 for a first down. It's second down and nine. The ball at their 39. Eight minutes, 13 seconds for the clock moving left to play in this football game. The score is tied 17 to 17. Taylor brings, puts off the near side. Right is a slot man right, and we get a whistle from the officials. And are they going to call too much time on the Chiefs? The way of game appears to be what the call is. And that's what it is. They pick it up. March off five yards back to the 34-yard line. The lay of game against Kansas City. All right, Otis Taylor puts off the near side. Right, flat man right back to throw. Goes Dawson. Gets the rush. He's throwing deep. Four right. He's going to play. 15, 10. He's down at the three-yard line. fantastic catch and he was brought down by Jake Scott to save a touchdown down at the three yard line 63 yards as Dawson completes the first deep pass of the afternoon against the Dolphins seven minutes 17 seconds left to play first and goal Chiefs at the Dolphins three yard line the score side 17-17 we're in the final quarter Elmo Wright the rookie from Houston a fantastic grab about the 20 and he's Fell that pay dirt, and Scott brought him down at the three-yard line. All right, they've got the uh, short yardage blocking situation in there. Stroud and, and uh, Frazier, the two tight ends. They line up at a wing eye right. Here is the pitch to Podolak. He is in for the touchdown. Podolak over the right side, three yards. the pass interception on Greasy by Lynch at the nine-yard line, and then that 63-yard completion from Dawson to right against the Dolphin zone, something that is not supposed to happen against the deep coverage, but it did. One play, Podolak was in. Center will try the point for placement. It's 23 to 17. Dawson holds. Here's the snap. Set down. The kick is up. And it's good. There is a timeout on the field with 6.46 left to go. The score, the Chiefs 24 by Dolphin 17. Rick Weaver, Fred Woodson, Henry Barrow. Back in Kansas City's Municipal Stadium, and the crowd has gone berserk. They're hollering defense, defense. Just a moment ago, Santa Rude will kick off. The Dolphins, as they have on many occasions this afternoon, find themselves behind by seven points with 6.46 to go. Ginn and Morris are deep. Here is Santa Rude's kickoff. He throws it high and deep. Mercury, three yards deep in the end zone, run it out. The 10, the 15, right to the middle, the 20, still going, the 25, still going. Up to the 29-yard line, a fine return by Mercury Morris. Both clubs still have all their timeouts left. Clock moving with 6.30 to go. Keeps lead 24 to 17. Warfield splits to the near side, pulling to the far side. Chicken drop on the split back behind Greasy. First down, Dolphins mark 29-yard line. Greasy, turning back out to his right to throw. He fires back to the near side, screen to Fleming. 25, 30, 35 to the 40. He has felt it at the 41-yard line. Marvin tried to hurdle a couple of tacklers, and he was really cracked. First down for the Dolphins. As Greasy spread it back to the far side, threw back to the near side, to the tight end, Fleming, on the screen, 13 yards, first down, Dolphin, and our 42-yard line is where they put the ball down. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to play. The Chiefs lead 24 to 17. Dolphins going from our right to our left toward the West End Zone. We have come back numerous times this afternoon. I've never led. The question now, can we do it again? Fully put to the far side. Warfield to the near side. First down, our 42. Here's the end around. Warfield fumbles the ball. It's recovered by the Dolphins. But we lose yardage. 
They tried to flank her back around, and Warfield fumbled the ball, and falling on it was center Bob DeMarco for a loss of three yards at our 39. It was not a bad handoff. Warfield just could not uh, find a handle on it. Well, Rick, we seem to be losing a little composure. We have to get it back up and uh, put it into the end zone uh, in a hurry. We only have five minutes left to play in the ball game. Second down, 13, Dolphins from our 39. We've got to do it right here. 4.57 left to go. Chief lead, 24-17. Bully splits to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Kick and duck as a split back behind Greasy. Waiting for the snap now. Greasy, long count. Drops back to throw. Sets up, fires. It is tipped away. It is tipped away. Warfield was the intended receiver down at the Chief 45. Bobby Bell made a fine play on it for Kansas City. Four minutes and 40 seconds for the clock stop. Left to go. Willie comes out of the huddle, splits to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Third and long yardage. From our 39, we've got to get the ball up to their 48-yard line for a first down. Here's Greasy, dropping back to throw, gets the rush, fires, Warfield's got it, he's got the first down inside the 45, down to the Chiefs 43 yard line. Emma Thomas, the quarterback, makes the tackle, but not before Paul, picks up the first down as Greasy ripped it up the middle on a slant in, 18 yards, first down, at the Chiefs 43 and a half yard line, for accuracy's sake, we'll call it the 43, four minutes, 15 seconds to go, Warfield has caught six passes, 111 yards, and he has taken some bruising, bumping around out there. All right, Pulley puts to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Kick is a flat man to the left. Dante in behind Greasy. First down from the 43-yard uh, line in Chiefs territory. Greasy. Hand drop to Zonka on the draw. And he gets only about a yard to the 42. They were waiting for it. Curly Culp, the defensive left tackle. Makes the stop. It'll be a second down and nine. Coming up for the Dolphins, the ball at the Chiefs 42 yard line, the clock moving with 3 minutes 35 seconds left to play, the Chiefs leading 24 to 17, here's Philly spread to the far side, Warfield to the near side, Greasy drops back to throw on second down, fires for the far sideline, it is caught and knocked down immediately, at the 38 yard line is the uh, tight end, Jim Bandage. He squared out to the far side, and the tackle on the play was made by strong safety Jim Kearney at the 38 yard line. So that brings up a third down and about four yards to go for a Dolphin first down at the Chiefs 38. Greasy corrected, 15 out of 24 out of play, in the forward passing department. 2.49 to go, Chiefs lead 24-17. Third and four. At the 38. We've got to get down to the 34-yard line. Greasy up under center, calls those signals. Drops the throw. He fires for Warfield. He's got it. Battle 20, 15, down to about the 12-yard line. Warfield. Greasy got uh, Warfield deep in behind Thomas. And he caught the ball and is knocked down for behind. We're going to put it down at the 13-yard line. 26 yards. Greasy to Warfield. So the Dolphins are right back knocking on the door. Woody? Well, that time, uh, Chiefs switched out of their man-to-man -man coverage uh, into a zone. And uh, Warfield just puts his all right in the middle and uh, Greasy delivered the ball right on time. And there is the two-minute warning. The Dolphins will have a first down at the Chiefs' 13-yard uh, line when time is in. The Chiefs' Dolphins football action will continue in one minute. The score, our Dolphins 17, the Chiefs 24. Rick Weaver back at Kansas City. The ball is on the 12-yard line at the 13. And it's a first down for the Dolphins. Two minutes to play. The Chiefs lead 24 to 17. All right, Pulley puts that to the far side. Warfield on the near side. Zonka will set as a slot man to the right. Kick is off to Greasy's left from the Chiefs' 12-yard line. Here's Greasy spinning out to his right. Is he going to throw? He does. It is caught by Quilly, and he's knocked out of bounds down at about the five-yard line on the far corner of the field by Jim Marcellus, the left cornerback. And they're going to put it down right at the five. It'll be three yards to go for a first down, five yards to go for a touchdown. And we got a timeout charge to the Dolphins with 142 to go. Dolphin football action will continue in a moment. The score, our Dolphin 17, the Chiefs 24. Rick Weaver back at Kansas City. The drama building on this one. The Dolphins use a timeout. They have two left, the Chiefs lead. Chiefs lead, 24-17, a minute 42 to go. The Dolphins with a second down and three for a first down. Five yards to go for a touchdown at the Chiefs five-yard line. Out of the huddle, out come the Dolphins. Pulley splits to the far side, Warfield on the near side. Kick and Zonka the slip back behind Greasy. Greasy up under center. Marking those signals, waiting for the snap. He looks to throw. 
He's going to run with the ball. Now he fires it. It is caught. Touchdown is the call. Howard Twilley is the man who caught the foot. Wait a minute. Is it Twilley? Fire Fleming. Fleming. Okay. Fire Fleming is the man who caught the touchdown pass. As Greasy had to spread out, look for the open man. And then fire the end zone, and Fleming catches it. The Dolphins are right back in it with a minute 36 to go. Fire Fleming gets the touchdown. They were moving away from us. Capremian can tie it up. No little hole. Here is the snap. Set down. The kick is up. And it is perfect. It is perfect. 136 left to play. There is a timeout on the field with a score. The Chiefs 24, our Dolphins 24. Rick Weaver back at Kansas City. Marvin Fleming catching a five-yard touchdown pass okay. to Bob Greasy. What stomach this Miami team has. It's come back numerous times. The tie it up 24-24. 1.36 to go. Your premium will kick off. McVay and Podolak are deep. Here is the kick. He gets it high. Back right on the goal line. It's Podolak out to the five. The 10. The 15 to the 20. The money to the Exactly what we did not need. 78 yards. As the Dolphin coverage, Podolak ran straight ahead, cut to the far sideline. Garrow Yaplemian had a shot at him, and he just didn't have the speed to get him. And he was run out of bounds on the far side of the field. Oh, what a way to lose the ball game. Curtis Johnson caught him from behind and ran him out at the 22. So with a minute and 25 to go, they are definitely at least within field goal range. 24 to 24 after the Dolphins have come back repeatedly, 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 and then mistake. Here is Wright, slip to the left. Taylor to the near side, taking absolutely nothing away from this fine Kansas City team. Waiting for the snap. Dawson, hands off. Ball carrier rams the middle and gets to the 21. That's Podolak. He's going to use up the clock maybe and just go for the field goal. Manny Fernandez makes the tackle. The ball is at the Dolphins' 21-yard line. Uh, second down. And nine. What a game this Podolak has had. 78 yards in that kickoff return. He's rushed 10 times for 78 yards. Got five passes, 66 yards. And one touchdown. 55 seconds to go. Right foot, left, Taylor to the near side. 51 seconds with 24-24 score. Here is the handoff to Podolak again. The sure-handed ball carrier is dropped up the 21-yard line. No gain. Just using up the clock. Hoping for the field goal attempt. Score is tied 24-24. to This has to go down in history, I would believe, is one of the great games in NFL and NFL playoff history. Third down and about 11. The ball at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Taylor... Fred now sets in tight as the wingman off the right side. Here is the pitch to Podolak. He is hit and contained back at the 25 for a loss of three yards. But now it brings up the field goal situation. The Dolphins call a timeout, use up their final timeout to stop the clock for 35 seconds. And here is John Stenerud. This will be approximately 31 yards. The near side inbound hash mark. The breeze has abated. The wind will not be a factor. He missed one earlier at 30 yards, and if he makes this one, will stand to be the hero. Barring a miracle. With just 35 seconds to go. So the Dolphins, you can better believe it, are going to have the rush on this time. The line of scrimmage will be the Dolphins' 24-yard line. What a game this has been. 24-24 to score. Dawson over checking with Coach Hank Schramm. Both benches, incidentally, are side by side on the far side of the field. Now we'll see what uh, Mr. Stenerud will do on this field goal attempt. Dawson will hold. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. It is. Oh, God! No, oh, God! He missed it! Off to the right side. Holy Toledo. Oh, it was great pressure put on that time by Lord Mumford. He almost got it. Uh, he caused uh, protecting the ball to go off to the right. Boy, oh boy, this game has had everything, and nobody feels any worse Very about good. that than center route, and nobody feels any better about it than the Dolphins. Well, now we face a situation, unless we can score in the next 31 seconds, going into sudden death overtime, 
And here's the way the procedure will work. There will be a three-minute intermission. A flip of the coin as to see who will receive the kickoff. And then a 15-minute period or periods until somebody scores by touchdown, field goal, or safety. First down from our 20-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center. Here's Bob Greasy. Greasy, hands off. To Zonka, the sweep to the left side. He's going to run it out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. And that stops the clock with 27 seconds. Aaron Brown, the right side defensive end. 27 seconds left to play. In regulation time, the score is tied, 24-24. Fully splits to the right, and now Warfield sets as a white man outside of him. Kick and Zonka on a second and 10. Dolphins from our 20-yard line. Here is the snap. The handoff goes to Zonka. The Dolphins playing it safe. He turns the corner and has tossed for a loss. He got to the line of scrimmage and was belted right there by Marvin Upshaw, the left side defensive end. 14 seconds, 13 seconds. The Dolphins are going to let the clock run out, apparently. And the Chiefs will call a timeout to stop the clock with 11 seconds to go. The ball at the Dolphins, 18, third down and 12. 11 seconds to go in regulation time. The score is tied, 24-24. The Dolphins have never led and have come behind numerous occasions to stay in this ball game. Pulley splits to the near side. Warfield, slot man left, kick and Zonka in behind Greasy. Greasy, waiting for the snap. Here is the handoff. Kick on the draw, through the middle, gets out across the line of scrimmage and out to the 23-yard line. And Kansas City again calls a timeout, utilizing their second timeout. And so the Dolphins will have to punt the ball with seven seconds to go. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 23. Larry Sattel, the punter, will stand at the eight-yard line. Seven seconds left to play in regulation time. The score tied 24 to 24. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Sipel gets the kick out of there, and he really drills it. A beautiful punt. Holman makes a fair catch for the Chiefs back at their 22, and that ends regulation play. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, my heart was in my mouth. I don't know about you. Center route has had a fantastically uh, off year. Yet was kicked as the place kicker, picked as the place kicker for the AFC Pro Bowl team over Gerald Upremian. And he's missed two field goals here. This is going to be a tough one for either one of these ball clubs to lose. And a great victory for whomever wins it. All right, Upremian, ready to go to work. Here is the kick. He slams it high. Flag down. It is taken in the end zone by Podolak. He downs it, but there's a flag down. Back at the Dolphins 48-yard line, and maybe somebody was offside in the eagerness to get downfield. The uh, with no run back, and the Chiefs would have put it in play out at the 20-yard line. Illegal procedure is the call against Miami. So your premium will kick off again. Five seconds elapsed on the clock. Five-yard penalty, and Garrett will kick it off from our 35-yard line. All right, your premium comes forward. Slams it low. It is grabbed by a short man. Pitches back to Podolak. 15 to the 20. 25 to the 30. 35. He is away again at the 40 and is knocked out at the 46-yard line. Holy smoke. 31 yards again on the return. And they have excellent maneuverability position right now. First down for the Chiefs at their 46-yard line. 31-yard return. Was grabbed by one of the blocking wedge men. He spun and pitched it back to Modelak, who bounced off a couple of tacklers and moved it out. All right, Mr. Dawson with operating room now, out of the huddle. Chiefs went a little quiet. They line up in that triple I formation. Here's Dawson, back to throw. Fires the screen, Podolak, 45 up the near sideline, 50, and he is belted out of bounds. Not quite out of bounds, he didn't make it out of bounds. And knocked down by Nick Bonacani at the Dolphins 46-yard line. Boy, our, our kickoff coverage in the latter stages of this ball game has been not the best, to say the least. Gain of eight yards. Second down and two for the Chiefs. The ball at the Dolphins 46. We are in an overtime sudden death period. 13 minutes, 51 seconds to play. 24-24 is the score. The first team to score here by any means wins the ball game. And the right to move into the AFC Championship game can see the Baltimore or Cleveland. Dawson hands off to uh, Wendell Hayes, and he gets inside the 45, down to about the 42-yard line. First down. Uh, Taylor moves back in after starting out as a wide receiver right. They set in the triple eye. First down. 
Now Taylor moves out wide to the right, right for the near side. Ball to feed off in 42. Here's the handoff. Potlack flag down. He is tossed for a loss. Yeah, 43 yard line. Penalty marker is down. Illegal procedure will be the call against the Chiefs. Clock is stopped on the penalty with 12.53 to go. The penalty is declined. Dolphins take the down and the loss of the yard. Otis Taylor moves to the white man right. Elmo right to the left side. Podolak and Hayes, the footbacks behind Dawson. Dawson hands to Podolak, swings to the right side, cuts inside of the 40 and is knocked down, really tilted at the 30, about the 36 yard line on the far side of the field. Nick Monacani really stuck him over there. They put the ball down at the 37 yard line. So he picks up six. And it'll be third down and about five for the Chiefs. The ball at the Dolphins 37 yard line. They are getting within field goal range. And uh, they have the ball at the 37 yard line. Third down and five. They must get down to the 32 in order to attain a first down here. This is a key play right here. All right, Taylor, switch to the right, right to the left side. Dawson hands to Podolak. He cuts over the right side. He didn't make it. Oh, no! Who's got it? And the official says the Chiefs, the Dolphins, fight to uh, their end of the field. And the Chiefs recover. Hank Goldberg, our spotter, has the glasses, but they're all grouped around it over there. Podolak was really cracked at the 35-yard line. He did not make the first down, fumble the football. And apparently, according to the officials, right on top of the play, Ed Buddy, the offensive left guard, recovered it. All right, Centerhood will try a 42-yarder. This could win the game. He has kicked one, missed two from 30 and 32 yards. 12.02 left to go. He is kicking against no appreciable win that I can see. 42 yards in the far inbounds hash mark. Dawson holds. This could win it if he makes it. Here is the snap. Set down. Box by the Dolphins. Loose football. They're going to let it roll, and it is going to be down by the Chiefs of the Dolphins' 23-yard line. Blocked by Lloyd Mumford, Nick Bonacani all in on the play. And so, <laughs> once again, the Dolphins hold and have the ball at their 23-yard line. Now let's see if we can move it. 11 minutes, 40 seconds to go. Center Rouge. Field goal attempt was blocked by Mumford and uh, Tim Foley. Bona County were all in there. Foley may get credit for it. Tim Foley. All right, Paul Warfield splits to the far side. Foley to the near side. Greasy out kicking Zonka in behind him. Dolphins from our 23-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff. The kick cuts outside the left. He's got running room up across the 30. Still going. Knocked down at the 34-yard line. First down, Miami at our 34-yard line. His kick carries the mail. Warfield flicks left, fully to the near side. Here is the handoff. Zonka pounds his way through the right side and gets out to about the 38-yard line. Bobby Bell, strong side linebacker, makes the stop. And the Dolphins will have a second down and six. Here's Fully splitting to the near side. Warfield to the far side, second and six. Dolphins from our 38-yard line. Possession is important in this overtime situation also. Greasy drops the throw. Set. Ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. It was intended for Mario Fleming. The rush of defensive right end Aaron Brown deflected the ball. And it drops to the ground incomplete. It'll be a third down and six. Dolphins ball at our 38-yard line. Nine minutes and 56 seconds left to play in a sudden death overtime. Greasy on officially, 18 out of 28 the forward passing department. Mar Fleming has gone out. Jim Mandichin has tied in for the Dolphins. Out of the huddle now come the Dolphins. Warfield switched to the far side. Fully to the near side. Kick and drop of the foot back behind Greasy. This is a big call right here. Third and six from our 38-yard line. Greasy, long count at the line. Drops back to throw. Gets a tremendous right. Fires. It is caught across the 50-yard line by Howard Twilley. And he's into uh, Chiefs territory at the Chiefs 49-yard line. Jim Marcellus knocked him down. But it's good for a first down, 13 yards as Greasy comes through again. Completing to Howard Twilley on a hook in the middle. Fred? Well, Bob, got, Bob Greasy got dumped uh, pretty good that time. Uh, he hung in the pocket and delivered the ball right to Twilley on time. We got a timeout charge to the Dolphins, 9.29. First down at the Chiefs 48-yard line. In this first sudden death overtime period, score tied 24-24. Greasy might have been checking up on that last play, but he appears to be all right now. Twilley with a grand key catch there. He puts to the far side, Warfield, slot man left. First down from the Chiefs 48-yard line. Here's a handoff, Zonk up. 
pounds the left side, and he didn't get any points. And the Chiefs had the first opportunity, had a 42-yard field goal attempt by Jan Center, blocked by the Dolphins. Warfield puts to the far side, fully to the near side. Second down and 10 from the Chiefs' 48-yard line. Here is the end around again. Warfield is dropped for a big loss. By Marvin Upshaw, the left side defensive end. What a play by Upshaw. That could be a key play in this ball game. The Dolphins tried the flanker around with Warfield carrying earlier, and he fumbled the ball. The Dolphins luckily recovered this time. Upshaw was waiting for it and throws him for a loss. Back to the Dolphins, 48, a four-yard loss, and we are moving in the wrong direction for a field goal attempt. This is a big play of the game so far right now. Third and 14. We've got to get down to their 39 for a first down. The ball is at the Dolphins, 48. Eight minutes, 15 seconds left to go in this overtime. All right, the Dolphins break it out. Warfield switch to the far side. Fully to the near side. Rockin kicks the split back behind Greasy. Greasy back to throw. He sets. He fires. It is under throw. Incomplete intended for Mandy, the tight end at the 39-yard line. Lynch and Lanier covered. It'll be fourth down. And Larry Seiple comes in. Total act is deep to receive the punt. Holman is the shallow man. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 48. Seiple stands back at our 33-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. He gets the kick away and gets it high. Fairly deep, fair catch called for by Total act at the Chief 16. So, it swings back to the other direction now with 7.55 to go in his first sudden death overtime. Hayes and Total act will be the running back. They set up in that uh, triple eye. Now Dawson drops the throw. It's a pretty good rush. Swings the screen out to Total Act, far sideline across the 20, and is belted out of bounds on the far side of the 27-yard line. The officials call a timeout to bring the chains in from the near side of the field. Clock is stopped with 7.16 left to go in this sudden death overtime period. First down, Chief. Dawson on officially now, 15 out of 20 in the forward passing department. They split out of the triple I. Frazier, the tight end, swings left. Right splits left, Taylor to the right. Here's Dawson, hands off to Hayes. He is caught and thrown at the uh, line of scrimmage. Falls forward up to the 28-yard line by Manny Fernandez, who came booming through there. Manny Fernandez, the tackle. They put it down back at the 27. He didn't gain anything, so it'll be a second down and 10. All right, right splits left, Taylor to the far side. Second down and 10. Dawson swings the screen out to Hayes, far sideline. He's driven out of bounds. Back at about the 26, he lost a yard. He lost a yard on the play. Back to the 26, as Jim Riley belted him out over there. And it'll be a third down and 11 coming up. Six minutes, seven seconds. Showing on the clock. Elmo right puts the near side. Otis Taylor, slot man left. Here's Austin, back to throw. Sets up, has plenty of time, now fires deep, it is... Overthrown, incomplete, and Jennifer right up here at the 50-yard line. Curtis Johnson was back, Nick Anderson also over to cover. So, for the first time this afternoon, Gerald Wilson. Averaging 44 and 8 tenths yards per kick. And Jake Scott is back deep at 25. Nick Anderson at the 38-yard line to field his punt. Wilson stands back at the 12. Line of scrimmage, the Chiefs 27. Here's the snap. He will get it away, and oh, boy, did he rip one out of there. Jake Scott. Back of the 22, has it, will run it out. Near sideline, 30, 35, and gets up to the 39-yard line. Good return by Jake Scott as Wilson really got the toe into that one. 52 yards by Gerald Wilson. 17-yard return by Jake Scott. So the Dolphins will go to work now. There is a timeout on the field with 5.49. Left to go in this overtime period. The score, the Chiefs 24 and our Dolphins 24. Marvin Upshaw makes the tackle. I'll tell you, these ball clubs must be getting tired. On the first play from scrimmage, as the officials gave us a short timeout, about 20 seconds short, Ronka has swept to the right and picked up about four yards out to the 43 yard line in Dolphin territory. Second down and six. 5 23 left to go in this overtime period. Short tie 24 24. Tully splits to the far side. Marcellus goes over to cover him. Kicking Zonka in behind Greasy. Dolphins from our 43. Second down and six. The handoff goes to Zonka, belts the left side and gets very little yardage. Might have gotten to the 45, and that's all. Fully to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Third and four, Dolphins from our 45. Got to keep control of it here. Greasy at the line of scrimmage. Calls those signals. Back he goes to throw. Sets up, fires, and is caught by Fully. He is down at the cheap 47-yard line. That is good for a first down. 
Well, uh, Howard Willie has been fantastic in this and key uh, pass yardage situations in this overtime. The Dolphins, as they put it down to the Chiefs 46, have a first down as Greasy hits Twilly with a sideline out pattern for the first down. Four minutes left to play in this overtime. Now we can pick up just a few more yards. Certainly the Chiefs are aware of this. Out of the huddle now come the Dolphins. Warfield splits to the far side, Twilly to the near side. Kick and Bronco to split back behind Greasy. Dolphins at the Chiefs 46, first down. Greasy back to throw. Throwing deep for Warfield. He can't get it. Overthrown, incomplete. Emma Thomas defense on the play, down at about the 25-yard line. What a battle this has been. All right, the Dolphins break out of it. Warfield puts a couple of yards off the left side. Second and 10 from the Chiefs 46-yard line. Greasy from the line of scrimmage. Hands off the kick. He gets to the 45, trying to go outside to the left end. His blocking seemed to jab up in front of him. He got only a yard that time. And here again is another key play. 3-12 left to play in the overtime period. The score tied 24-24. Warfield and Philly both come wide to the right. Dolphins third and nine. Field position now is the important thing here from the Chiefs 45. Greasy on the snap. Rolls back to his right. Sets the throw. Fires. It is knocked away. A fine defensive play by Emma Thomas and Kenneth for Twilly. This guy is some kind of a defensive back. And Gero Yaprimian is going to come on and try a field goal. He will kick it from the far inbound hash mark. It will be somewhere in the vicinity of 52 yards. The line of scrimmage is the Chiefs 45. Warren McVay goes back deep the field if it misses on the fourth down and the Ukrainian will with Newton holding will try it from uh, 52 yards out the longest Garrow has ever kicked 48 yards earlier this season against Buffalo all right waiting for the snap here it is get down he gets it up he does not have the distance it is grabbed in the end zone by McVay down for a cutback. So your premium misses from 52 yards. A little bit off to the far side. And with 2.39 to go in this sudden death overtime, the Chiefs will put the ball in play from their 20-yard line. Freddie, I have never seen a game like this. And I imagine you haven't either. No, I haven't, Rick. Uh, this has been an exceptional ball game. I, I know Garrow uh, had all his hopes on that one because he wanted to, uh, wants to get back at the uh, You know that Garrow uh, didn't get picked for the Pro Bowl, and Stinnerud did. Well, he wants to win the ball game, too. That was the important thing. And uh, so the Chiefs, as the seesaw overtime period goes back and forth, where we'll try to move it in the field position. A pressure again on the Dolphins' defense. First down, Kansas City at their 20. Here's right, split to the near side. Otis Taylor sets as a slot man left. Podolak and Hayes with split back behind Dawson. 2.39 to play in this overtime. Here's a handoff to Podolak. Sweep to the right side. He is horse colored. That's the line of scrimmage on the far side of the field. He didn't get anything. Nick Bonacani took a flying leap at him and really clotheslined him at the 20-yard line. No gain, second down and 10. I'll tell you, a big gainer here for either side would be a key factor, and the Dolphins certainly want to prevent it, as do the Chiefs. Both of these clubs striving valiantly in as fine a football contest as I have ever witnessed. Two minutes, five seconds to go in this first overtime period. Here is right, split left. Taylor sets the slot man left. Second and ten, Chiefs from their 20-yard line. A minute, 56 seconds to go. Here's the play action. Dawson's got to throw. He fires. It is caught by right. 38, 40. And it's right down at the deep 46-yard line. Elmo right crossing in the middle. Hooked in, caught the ball at the 38 and rambles eight more yards. 26 yards on the pass completion before he is knocked down. That's exactly what the Dolphins did not want to give up. Right was open, though, in the middle against the zone. And the first down for the Chiefs at their 46. Now they are... In oper operating position again with a minute and 20 seconds to go in his first overtime period. Dawson going through the air to strike for reasonably good field position. Short side 24 to 24. A minute and seven seconds. Dawson 17 for 24 unofficially. 
Wright has been his prime receiver this afternoon. He splits left. Here is Dawson. Hand off on the draw. Hayes at the 50 down uh, to the Dolphins 49. A five-yard pickup for Wendell Hayes. Wright splits to the near side. Otis Taylor, flat man left. Dawson looks for the quick end. Ball is deflected by the Dolphins. Rush incomplete. And it appears from here as if Bob Hines might have been the man who got a hand on it and knocked it down at the line of scrimmage. The clock is stopped on the incompletion. 22 seconds left to go in its first sudden death overtime. There'll be, if they don't score in this period, there'll be a two-minute intermission. Then they'll go at it again for another 15 minutes or until somebody scores. Dawson back talking to his ball club in that open face huddle at Chief Hughes. All right. There is the right foot left. And Taylor's flat man left. Dawson back to throw. Fires. It is picked off. Cross by Dick Anderson. He's across. The 40 up to the 45-yard line. Check it. Jake Scott is the man who picked it off. Crossed in front of Anderson. Picked it off back at the 35. And runs it out to the Dolphins' 45-yard line. Jake Scott is the man who gets the interception. And a key one it is. That is the second pass that was intercepted has been intercepted on Dawson this afternoon. Jake Scott picks it off, and the Dolphins get the football back with 14 seconds showing left to play in this first overtime period. So this is the way this game has been going, back and forth. All right, now we need a couple of key plays here. Jake Scott is the man who gets the interception. Two seconds, one second. Clock moving, and there is the gun sounding the end of the first sudden death overtime period with no score. There will be a two-minute intermission, and we'll come back and try 15 more minutes or until somebody scores. We'll be back with more action right after this timeout to score the Chiefs 24 and our Dolphins. This is Rick Weaver with Fred Woodson and Henry Barrow back at Kansas City's Municipal Stadium. Jake Scott just picked off a Lenny Dawson pass. And the Dolphins have the football as we get ready to start the second overtime setting that period with uh, the ball at our 45-yard line. Charlie Giacino, our Dolphin spotter, just stopped spotting and ran outside because he's so wrung out he can't stand to watch the ball game anymore. <laughs> the ball at the 45-yard line in Dolphin territory. If nobody scores at the end of this 15-minute period, we'll go another 15 minutes or until somebody scores. First down, Dolphins at our 45. Fully wide to the right. And Warfield to the near side. Score tied 24-24. Greasy has Chicken Zonka behind him. Here's the handoff to Zonka. He booms straight ahead and gets to about the 48 before he's knocked down by Curly Cole. Charlie, I... Charlie Giacino is back with us. Glad to see you. Henry? Rick, uh, they just announced this is the only, the second time in pro football history that an overtime gaining has gone into two periods. All right, the Dolphins with a second and seven at our 48-yard line. The last two times we had the ball, we have not been able to get real good field position. Fully off to the right, Warfield to the near side. And uh, Zonka slot left. Greasy sprinting out to his left. Got a throw, he fires. It is overthrown and set for Warfield out at the 30-yard line. Defensing on the play, cornerback Emmett Thomas. Emmett Thomas, the back. Third down and eight, Dolphins ball at our 48-yard line. Greasy, 20 out of 34, officially, unofficially. All right, big play here, third down and eight. Dolphins from our 48-yard line. Fully far to the right, and Warfield on the near side. Chicken Zonka in behind Greasy. Greasy drops back to throw, gets the rush. Now he's going to have to sprint, gets away from Aaron Brown. Back to the near side he goes. He sets up, fires deep for, uh, and... It is knocked down, down at the seven-yard line. It was intended for Mandich, the tight end. Intended for Mandich, as Gracie was really forced out of the pocket by Aaron Brown, had to come back to the near side. And uh, Jim Kearney also in on the defense, defense on the play back there against Mandich. So it's a fourth down again, and the Dolphins sent in the punting unit. We had to look around a pole to see who the receiver was down there. It was Mandich. The Dolphins will have to give it up again. Failing to move against this Kansas City defense. Polak back deep. Holman the shallow man. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 48. Sniple stands back to the 32. We're in the second sudden death overtime period. Score tied 24 to 24. And I've been talking a long time, getting a little bit hoarse. Here is the snap. 
Stifle gets it out of there. Wobbly putt will be taken by Fotelak at the 15. Starts for the far side. Giving ground. He is cracked and snowed under by white jerseys back at about the 14-yard line. 37-yard punt and uh, minus one on the return for Fotelak. They'll put it down at the 15 and give them that much yardage. No scoring in the first sudden death overtime period. 24 to 24. This field goal attempt blocked by the Dolphins on center route. You probably missed the 52 yarder. Johnson breaks his ball club out. They're coming from our left to our right. Taylor splits to the near side. Right touches the slot man. Johnson sets his ball club. First down Chiefs from their 15. Here's a handoff to Wendell Hayes. The slant over the left side. He gets out to about the 19 yard line. Wendell Hayes, who has really been a workhorse, these two running backs for Kansas City have done a great job this afternoon behind an offensive line that is vastly experienced and has done a great job. 13 minutes left to play in this second sudden down overtime period. They set Taylor out to the near side. Right is put left. Here's the... Uh, Hand off the total act. He is moving to his right side, and he's spared for a big loss back at the 11-yard line. Looked like it might have been the halfback option pass play that time. Zippy was going to throw the ball, but uh, he was tossed for a loss. Manny Fernandez was in there to grab him, along with Jim Riley, back to about the 11-yard uh, line. Is where they're going to put the ball down. A loss of about eight yards on the play. Matheson and Hines interchange in the prevent defense for the Dolphins. The ball back at the Chiefs' 11. Third down and 14. They split right and Taylor off to the far side. Dawson back to throw. He fires. It is caught by Potelak at the 15. He is going to be contained at the 19-yard line. That is not enough for a first down. Might have gotten to the 20, so the putting unit comes on and the Dolphins will get the ball back again. Nick Bonacani is the man who made the initial contact along with Doug Swift in their linebacker spot. The ball at the 20-yard line. Gerald Wilson, who got off a dandy before, will stand back on the four-yard line, and Scott and Anderson go deep. For the Chiefs, a good putt here is essential, and this guy can really rip them. 24-24. 11-24 to go in this second overtime period. Here is the snap. Wilson gets the kick out of there, and he gets a nice high spiral putt. Jake Scott calls for a fair catch and makes it for the Dolphins back at our 30-yard line. Holy Toledo, did he get one out of there. 50 yards on the punt for Gerald Wilson. So the Dolphins find themselves 70 yards away with 11 minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the second sudden death overtime period. Score was tied 24-24, and that's... The end of regulation play. Both clubs have missed field goal opportunities. Centerroot had a 42-yarder block. Yefremian had a 52-yarder miss. Dolphins line up now with Kick and Zonka in the eye. Warfield sets in tight. And uh, Otto Stowe is in the ball game at a wide receiver. Ball the Dolphins. Greasy at quarterback. Here is the pitch to kick. The sweep to the left side. Cuts back to his right. Gets out to the 35 to the 36-yard line. Jim kicked the ball carrier on the Dolphins sweep the tackle by Willie Lanier the middle linebacker and uh, and Jim Lynch they put the ball down at the 35 so we'll give them a gain of 5 it'll be second down at 5 Dolphins from our 35 yard line 10 minutes 30 seconds to go so puts to the far side Warfield to the near side second down and 5 Dolphins from our 35 here's a handoff Zonka draw big hole 40 45 50 45 down to the 40 down to the 36 Maybe to the 35-yard line of the Dolphins have excellent field position now. As Zonka over the left side rambles 30 yards. They put the ball down at the Chiefs 36-yard line. First down, of course, and the Dolphins are in their best field position of this overtime series at the Chiefs 36-yard line. Great blocking up front, and he had a hole big enough for a herd of hogs to go through that time and not touch either side. All right, Stowe splits to the far side. Warfield comes to the near side. Field position now important. First down, Dolphins at the Chiefs 36-yard line. Greasy sets his ball club. The buddy jumps for the Chiefs. Here's the handoff. Kick slides through a hole on the right side. Gets down to 
to about the 33, angling for position in the middle of the field goes Jim Chick. That is Larry Zonka's longest run from scrimmage on the year, and it couldn't come from a, a more opportune time. They put the ball down to the 34. It'll be second down and eight. Dolphins ball at the Chiefs 34-yard line. Field position now for a possible field goal attempt. All important, that wind is picked up again, and it's blowing from the direction in which the Dolphins are heading. Here's Greasy, handoff to Zonka, slams it across the right side and gets to about the 30-yard line. Tackle by Lanier and Lynch. The Dolphins at the Chiefs 30-yard line. That wind, the breeze is picked up again, blowing uh, from the southwest area. 8.15 to go. Third down and four. Dolphins ball at uh, the Chiefs 30-yard line. So split right. Warfield to the near side. Greasy, hands off, kick, slams inside and gets maybe to the 29, and that's all. Right linebacker Jim Lynch. So Euphemian and the field goal unit come on. The ball is right directly in the center of the playing field. He got no gain on it. They put it down at the 30-yard line. This will be an approximate 37-yard attempt. If Garrow makes it, the Dolphins win. He missed one earlier from 52 yards. Noonan will hold. 37 yards, there is no angle, but there is a breeze. Let's see, Noonan will hold for 37. The big play of the game for the Dolphins. Waiting for the snap. Somebody jumps and the Chiefs gets back. Here's the snap, set down, the kick is up. He's got the distance. It's good! The Dolphins win! The Dolphins win! Caprivian, 37 yards, and the Dolphins are in the AFC Championship game as the little guy boots one in from 37 yards out, and the Dolphins win the ball game 27 to 24. What a finish. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the second sudden death overtime period as the Dolphins keeping the ball primarily on the ground, maneuvered for a field position so he wouldn't have to kick from an angle, and the little guy bangs her home. He is the hero of the ball game as far as the final score is concerned, but this victory belongs to everybody, to the Dolphins, on the Dolphins team, just a great effort to the coaching staff, and uh, we're also going to have an airport show as the Dolphins get back tonight. Uh, it'll be somewhat later than 11.40, I would imagine now, because of the length of this ball game at gate 77 at Miami International. We now can have both programs, and Henry Barrow is already on his way down to the Dolphin locker room for what will be one of the happiest programs that you will ever hear.